Well, good morning, Mark Silverman here. In my ongoing efforts to bring the book Only Tens and its exercises to life in two and three minute vignettes, uh, here's another uh, tool for you to use. Actually, this is the most important tool that I found in order for me to get to where I wanna go and to pay attention to my life and to pay attention to the things that are important to me. So what I have here in the book Only Tens is, can you see it? The toolbox. The toolbox consists of, and of course, it, reading glasses. Uh, the toolbox consists of taking risks, having tough conversations, being able to say no, being able to set boundaries. And my favorite is love and kindness, being able to do all this stuff with love and kindness. But the first tool that I have in the book is called courage. Anything that I've undertaken in the last 20, 30, okay, 54 years has taken courage. So in order to be able to take a look at my to-do list and then parse it out so that I can see what is mine and what belongs to somebody else, and then to have the courage to say, no, this is not on my list. I'm not going to do this for whatever reason. And to delegate it out, to tell someone it's not going to happen, or be truthful with myself to say that it's not going to happen. I need courage and willingness to set boundaries, to tell people, no, I won't be there. I know I won't do this. Or yes, I'm going to do this. What do I have to say no to to be able to do that? Which brings to another tool. No. No is a complete sentence. Very few people are able to use the word no. They'll hem and haw, they'll, um, they'll say maybe, they'll say yes and be earnest about it and then never get to something. So being able to say no is a huge tool. It's probably one of the most successful people in the world. That's one of the things that they do best is saying no to other things so that they can say yes to what's important to them. Tough conversations. How many times have you had to have a conversation with someone where you have to tell them, I need this in order to be able to do that. Uh, I need you to do this, so this is a 10 for me. If you can't do that, it's not a 10 for me. How often is it hard to have 10 tough conversations? My biggest conversation is to say something is no longer a 10 for me. I don't want to do it. So those, those things, it takes courage for me to look, first of all, to look inward. What do I want to do? What don't I want to do? What's important to me? What's not important to me? What shoulds? What's fears? Is it a fear that I'm running from? Or is it a fear that uh, uh, is, is driving me to something? Now, do I, how do I have the courage to face those fears? Or is there something that I want to do that I'm scared to do? And it, but it's really exciting. I want to get on stage. I want to write a book. I, you know, I want to go see this customer. I want to pick up the phone to make a sales call. Do I have the courage to get over that because my 10 is on the other side of that? And then uh, love and kindness, love and kindness for myself and love and kindness for others. While I'm doing all these things, do I have the courage to give people the benefit of the doubt? It's very hard to stay in the gray. I think uh, it takes a lot of courage for a conservative to talk to a liberal and a liberal to talk to a conservative and then let go of our views and open up. And that's in every conversation to see that the other people have another side. So courage is something I'm asking you to cultivate if you want to live this life of only tens. And if you want to do anything of consequence, you're going to have to find that inner courage. We'll talk later about how to do that. So, uh, but right now, I just want you to watch, go through your day and see where you're scared to, to do things and it kind of buffets you about into doing things you don't want to do or not going and doing things that you do want to do. This uh, only tens process is a very slow process. It's, a, it's not a to-do list and it's not a getting things done. List. It's a going internal to find out where my internal motivation is and how do I get things done in my way, in my time. Uh, and the funny thing is, things speed up and we, I get way more done this way, but I'm getting the things done that get me where I want to go. So at the end of the week, I'm like, wow, I'm where I want to be. Or at the end of the year, Look at this year. I, I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Thank you. Hope this was helpful. Uh, please share. Please comment. Tell me what topics you want me to um, cover. Uh, go to my YouTube channel. There's going to be more and more videos there. Thank you for joining me.